going on YouTube? It's your girl Robin coming at you with another video. So I wanted to come in here and jump in to first off say I'm sorry I did not upload a video last week. Um, I was extremely busy and there wasn't much to share with you guys and I was going to do this Q&A last week but like I said I was extremely busy so I just didn't have time to sit down and film. Um, so yeah, we will jump into a Q&A um, because I did post on my Instagram story um, to go ahead and ask me questions about me, my fitness, and my prep with the WBFF. Um, so we will jump into those in a little bit. So another thing I kind of want to discuss um, was a little bit of an update of my prep and where I am at right now. So I am still at 150 grams of carbs, 125 grams of protein, and 25 grams of fat. Now I do want to state that that's not something that I recommend everybody doing because we are all different. We all need different needs to see different results. Um, so what I am doing right now, I do not recommend somebody else doing. Um, I would ask your coach or somebody reliable to figure those numbers out for you. Um, but in other words, uh, I am still at that point from two weeks ago. So my coach hasn't changed. I just got done doing my check-in. Um, so I just sent over some videos and we've been talking back and forth about um, my birth control and how it's affecting my um, what I feel my prep because um, I discussed it a little bit in my last video so pretty much um, I was basically on my period for a week off of it on it off of it on it again and every time my weight would jump up so it was almost like I just kept going backwards even though that time that I would be off um, I'd go back down, see progress, but then I'd get back on my period and I'd go backwards. So it's definitely been messing with my head um, and it's really starting to affect me. So my birth control was expired and I had the next split on. So as you can see here, um, yesterday I did have an appointment and I got it removed. Um, it's sore today and if you could see, it is pretty bloody black and blue yucky looking um but I do not recommend that birth control um I don't recommend it because one for me um I had the most up regular periods ever um and I'm sorry guys if you guys don't want to hear this discussion just go ahead and um rewind forward past this um but for ladies who are following me um, and are interested in learning a little bit about this, go ahead and continue to keep watching. But like I was stating, I do not recommend the Nexplan on at all. Um, I've had it for four years. I didn't get rid of it because I was just too lazy to go back in and change it out. <laughs> um, but I did have it for four years. Um, like I was stating, it gives you the most irregular periods. Um, I was extremely moody, um, I just didn't like it. You, everybody would see it in your arm, they're like, what is that in your arm, like so forth, and I always had to explain to them, oh, this is my birth control. Some people were really grossed out about it, which I don't really care about anybody else's opinion, um, but it was just one of those cases when I got it, I thought it would be the best fit for me, and turned out that I hated it. The removal process too, um, was not the best. Um, it didn't hurt. Uh, you definitely felt a couple of pinches and the noise um, that she was making when she was basically scraping away like the skin that grew around the actual like implant itself. Um, you could hear her like scraping at it which was very like gross. I didn't actually watch. I turned my head the other way because I just didn't want to get sick or possibly pass out if I were to see that. Um, so yeah, it there was a couple of pinches, especially when one, she went into numb, um, and then two, when she actually did the insertion to cut a little slit over where the scar was. 
um, to actually push it out. Um, I mean, it was fairly fast, um, fairly simple to remove it, but it was definitely uncomfortable and I don't want to have to do that again. Um, but because of that all, um, I feel like hopefully now that my birth control is out of my arm, um, it'll kind of, you know, regulate me and I won't have these problems anymore and I can start seeing progress again in my prep. Um, and hopefully that's what it took. I did not go on a new birth control because the one I want to get, um, they said that it can cause bleeding up to three to six months after the insertion. So I did not want to risk it um, and have to deal with that. As you guys know, I am going on seven weeks out from my show. So I did not want to risk it. I did not want to, you know, uh, have anything else affect my progress and my prep. So no, I did not go back on a birth control, but I will once my competition is said and done. Um, that is a priority of mine to go ahead and go back on the birth control. Um, so that, I guess, I just wanted to go over and cover kind of a little bit of an update where I'm at, where's my prep going, and um, what I decided to do as far as my birth control went. So let's see if this helps me. I do know up to like two weeks after getting it removed, it can cause irregularity. Um, so hopefully after the two weeks, I could just really head on hit this prep and see the best results. Jump in here and now start going over um, some of the questions I was asked on my Instagram. Um, so I have, a, I screenshotted all of them on my phone. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of answer as I go. Um, all right. Uh, somebody asked me, how do I get your abs? Um, right now I don't feel like I have my abs. I feel like they're being washed away um, just because of all this water weight um, from my menstrual cycle. Um, but thank you. Uh, they're still there. Uh, but to believe it or not, like I hate to be that typical person, but honestly, it's your diet. Um, I probably train my abs maybe once, twice a week and that's for about maybe 15 minutes. So I don't really hit my abs too hard. I probably should do a little bit more abs. Um, but for the most part, I have to say the most progress that I've seen in my body, um, or I should say my abs, has been because of my diet. And I truly believe that's key. Uh, let's see here. Somebody asked, um, do I prep my food for the week or as I go? Um, so I kind of do both. Um, I do figure out my meals a day in advance. So before I go to bed the next night, like the night before or whatever, I plan my meals on the app, my fitness pal. Um, and what I do is because I already know like, um, my macros right now, I kind of go based off of that and because I know the foods that I like to eat and so forth, I add those in, but I will change certain things here and there. Like let's say I'm tired of eating chicken, I'll add tilapia. Let's say I'm tired of eating broccoli, I'll change it up with like asparagus or something else and just kind of mess around with it until I get the numbers right. Um, for the most part, I kind of plan them out daily now. I started off um, pretty much prepping my food for three or four days um, and then go about it. But now it's to the point where most of my meals are pretty fast and simple. So I just make them as I go throughout the day. Um, but I do plan them out every day, if that makes sense. Like the day before, I'll plan out my meals for the next day just to make sure they are up to par with my macros. Next question, um, what is your favorite body part to train? So my favorite body parts to train are my shoulders and my back. Um, I don't know what it is, but I feel like when I do my shoulders and my back, um, 
especially like if I work them out hard like yeah I feel it and I'm a little like you know sore or whatever but like it almost makes me feel like I just got done with the massage I don't know like that feeling you get after you have a massage and then you just feel really good and relaxed like I feel that way after doing my shoulders and back I don't know why that's just how I am um and I also feel like for me they're like almost the easiest part for me to train um so I guess that's kind of why I enjoy it uh, which kind of leads me into another question I was asked from someone else what's my least favorite body part to train and honestly that would have to be my legs I hate training my legs um, because it is such a big muscle um, part of your body I just I, I hate it I hate working out my legs and I work them out three times a week uh, somebody asked me what made you pick Miami for a first show so I chose Miami um, for a couple reasons one because I don't like to travel much uh, I know that sounds weird ever since I had my son um, I'm one of those people that if I'm in an unfamiliar area I tend to have anxiety so I just never had it in me to travel um, now that my son is older I did get us our passports because I said you need to stop with that and start going and traveling with Brayden and let the little kid explore and see the world so I have every intent on starting to travel with him and go places I just have to get past my whole anxiety um, first so I did go to Florida when I was younger, about 10 or 12. So I was like, you know what, I've been there before. If I go to this competition um, and it's kind of a familiar area that I know, then I'll feel a little bit better. So that was one reason is because I'm a little bit more familiar with Florida. Um, my second reason is because one of my brothers um, moved out there with his now husband. Um, and they have a place out there uh, and he's about maybe 15 20 minutes from the actual venue of where the competition is going to take place so to save me money another reason um, I get to stay with him for the majority of the time and then I think I rented out a hotel for um, just that one night for the actual competition just in case people who are there to support me um, and for me need to go up to the hotel for whatever reason to relax and lay down or you know just to get away from everything it's available okay it says do you get that shredded physique mostly through weight reps or high cardio um so I think what this is asking so I do both. Um, I do cardio and I do higher reps and I do um, higher weight workouts. Um, I kind of put a little bit in there every week. So um, as far as seeing results, I think it depends on the person. Some people um, show better results when they're lifting heavy. Um, but that also depends on too also like where you're at with your physique just as is you know like um, Right now. I'm not honestly able to lift really heavy at this point because I am dieting and so forth so I'm starting to realize that you know my strength is going down a little bit more so I do tend to add in more reps um, but I kind of do a little bit of everything. I don't think it's just one thing, just cardio or just higher rep workouts or more weighted workouts. I think it's just, you know, finding that balance between all of it and doing it all. Um, so I hope that answered that question. Uh, what is the hardest part of prep? Who? um, the hardest part about prep, I would have to say, Oh gosh, there's so much. I'm not even gonna lie. Prep is not easy at all. Um, I think to really answer this question, sorry, I'm washing dishes right now in my dishwasher machine, so it's probably what you guys hear in the background. So sorry. Um, 
so back to that question. Uh, what is the hardest part about prep? Um, I think I could start off with saying that one of the hardest things is staying focused. Like really reminding yourself like why you're doing this in the first place. Um, because if you're not doing that, you're going to want to slip. You're going to want to fall into those sour Skittles or that cake or that cookie. Um, so making sure that you stay focused on what you want um, and not falling into those cravings that you get. Um, another thing that I would say that's really hard is when you're in prep, you're, it's kind of a selfish sport. Like, you really have to stay focused on your goals and what's best for you and your progress. So, a lot of times, um, people, one, they don't understand what prep consists of. And they think that you could just go out and binge eat with them whenever you want. And, oh, you'll go to the gym tomorrow and lose whatever you just ate. Um, it doesn't work that way and people don't realize that so you know friends start to drift apart because one they always want to go out and um, eat and drink and so forth and even though I'm not a drinker I just I I try to stay away from going out to eat and doing all that stuff that's gonna you know make me fall into temptation just because you know, I don't want to do that. Um, I will if it's planned out and I could fit stuff into my macros and look at their menu, see what they have and then fit it in there. Um, but if I don't have that time to, you know, plan everything out, then I'm just not gonna do it. And that's just how I am. Everybody else may be different, but that's just how I do it for myself. Um, another thing that's kind of hard about prep is not, um, cause I'm very guilty of this, uh, now that the competition is coming up, I find myself looking at all these girls that's competing at the same show as I am. And it's starting to get me very discouraged because I feel like I've hit that bump in my road um, during prep where I'm having those issues with, you know, my menstrual cycle and gaining weight and then dropping it and then going backwards. And it's been like that for a few weeks now. So I just feel like it's been getting me very discouraged. Um, I'm not at where I was at one point in time, so I feel like I went backwards in my prep. And I just see some of these girls and they are looking absolutely amazing and it's definitely affecting me and, you know, playing mind games with me. But I know everybody's different and I just got to trust the process and trust my coach um, that he will get me to where I need to be. And I just, it, it has been, um, you know, a certain thing that's been kind of messing with me. So not falling into that whole trap of consuming, you know, what everybody else looks like compared to what you're looking like, like just stop. Like don't compare yourself to other people. Um, and I'm trying to really fix that at this point. I'm guilty of it. Um, but yes, <laughs> those are probably the hardest things about prep is one, um, staying focused and remembering why, two, not falling into temptation, um, three, uh, it is a selfish sport, um, so having people that understand that, um, and five, um, not comparing yourself to other people and just trusting the process. Let's see, how is your prep going? So, I guess that kind of falls into the last question. As far as my prep's going, um, like I said, I've been having issues um, with my menstrual cycle, so I feel like that's affecting my progress in my prep. Um, two, I've been really, um, I guess, uh,
So the next question was, how is my prep going? So that kind of leads into what we were just talking about. Um, one, I'm finding myself comparing myself to others. Um, and I know it's not healthy and I need to stop. So, stop it. I'm going to stop. Stop comparing myself. <laughs> um, two, um, I know I just keep bringing this up, but my whole menstrual cycle, like I really feel like it's been affecting me because you, you know, you put on all that water weight and so forth. And even though I know it's not truly where I'm weighing um, and where I'm at, it just mentally messes with you. So mentally, I feel like I'm at that point in my prep where I'm just facing all these mental um, situations and I just need to stop. I need to just trust the process and just do what I can and do my best and know on show day that that's exactly what I did is I brought my best, I did my best, I did everything that I could to bring the package that I'm going to bring. Um, so as far as prep going, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm still really excited. Uh, my bikini is on its way. My gown is on its way. My heels are on its way. Um, so I'm super excited. A lot of my things are already booked. Um, I just have like little things here and there that I still need to get, like jewelry, um, you know, some clothes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy a dress for registration or use one that I already have, but just stuff like that I'm buying. But the main things are taken care of and it feels absolutely amazing. So another question I got asked is, I really need a coach. Are you still coaching? The answer is yes. Um, so I'm more of like a lifestyle um, health coach. So I help people um, either one, their goals may be gaining weight, losing weight, so forth. Um, I help them with a variety of things. Um, I do month to month basis. I do a six month program three-month programs um, that will include um, two face-to-face uh, -face consultations let that be in person if you are here in Ohio or online so we could do you know Skype FaceTime whatever uh, you have 24-hour access to me so if you ever have questions throughout this whole process I'm always there um, and it's just whatever, you know, your health goal is, I personalize it for you and we work one-on-one -on -one to get you where you need to be. So I do have a website. I can link that link, um, down below. And then it's also in my Instagram bio. So if you want to visit my website, um, it's not updated. I have to go in there and kind of update some of the information. I am certified now. I'm not still at school. Um, so that's, I have to update it all. But yes, um, if you want to learn a little bit about me and how I go about, you know, coaching, all that will be on my webpage. So that is that with all of the questions. Because um, I feel like I answered, you know, quite a bit. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, down the road there will be more Q&As. So if there's any questions you guys have for me, go ahead, ask them below. Or you guys can wait for my Instagram, which is Robin period H period fitness. Um, and whenever I post on there to ask me questions, don't be scared to ask. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, please support your girl, like the video, subscribe, hit that bell button, leave a comment if you guys have any questions or you guys have any comments, um, and I would love to hear from you guys. Have a great day and a great rest of your week. Bye now!